Senbet Salam, Shabbat Shalom. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Salam to not This is our second Sabbath of our year. We're in the second Sabbath time um, of the year, the beginning of, you know, the, we could say the evening part of it. And according to our weekly sabbatical readings on page four, if you are desirous to, to follow along and to be in, in tune, we touched on uh, Berasit or Bereshit, which is in Amharic, Nagus Neges Amharic Bible is Bemejemeria. We touched on the beginning, um, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to Genesis chapter 6 verse 8 in spirit and in truth we we touched on that based on a comparison with uh, ancient Kamite or Kamology ancient Kamite mythos or ancient Egypt because we began with the premise of what did Moses know where was Moses educated what did he learn who taught him when it says in Acts of the Apostles, I think it's chapter 7, verse 22 or thereabouts, it says that, that Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egypts, and he was mighty in word and deed. Or your translate, or King James might say, learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. We clarify that that is really the wisdom of the Egypts, based on Halas Selassie the first's Metaf Kedus, based on the King of Kings, the Book of the Seven Seals, and that prophetic scripture. So it clarifies for us that it wasn't just the wisdom of the of the Egyptians, of the people, but of the Egypts. So in spirit and in truth, we touched on the overview of the first sabbatical reading in the six parts that are up there so far. And at this present recording, there's part seven from the Ethiopic Genesis, which began to touch on what does the in the beginning mean and what were those those six creative ages or stages, you know, saying, of humanity and to decode the wisdom or the mystery school of ancient Kemet or ancient Egypt that Moses, according to the scripture, was obviously learned in in order to get a true context to the first book of the Bible, Genesis, because as it said, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. And even in the prophecies concerning Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ concerning the end times, often it is said, well, as it was in the days of Noah as it was in the days of Noah. In other words, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the time of the Son of Man and in the end of the world and the end of this particular age. That's what's connected with that sort of idea. So in order to overstand and to be rightly guided and rightly aligned in these last days, we need to return to the ancient times and to look at the wisdom of the ancient ones but of course this is going to clash you know it's already clashed against you know popular notions of what what happened you know what i mean the beginning and these popular notions and misconceptions concerning ancient egypt and many of these are held by the people who should who really need to have the right view of the truth and that's us as the lost sheep of the Beit israel as so-called black folks because part of this hate, this self-hate that we have, part of it's because of the curse. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 15 to verse 68. And then part of it's because of the ignorance. You know saying? The ignorance which brought on the curse and, 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 the, and the error. You know saying? And then we have a, a fear amount. When I said fear amount, not as good, but we have a, a sizable amount. Too much envy for the so-called Jews who call themselves Jews but are not according to the word it says they're the synagogue of Satan but we need to understand these in the proper context of the writers of the Bible of the prophets and of the seers and this is a, a reason why after the reading of the word which is the senbet time and the sabbatical time if we were to practice this in spirit and in truth and and 
and were to be able to come together, you know, like if it was in a community, the Sabbath time, we will come into the shul or the mikurab, you understand, or the one would say the church or the temple or wherever we gather or into one's homes where we would gather and want, there'll be three readers. Each, th- each of the three readers would read one portion, you understand, of the sabbatical readings. Whether it will be the Torah, the Orid Zemuse, or the Nabiyah, the Haftarah, or the Hadis Kidan, the Burt Hadasha, these readings will go on. Now, after that basic reading, as time and opportunity allows, whether during that sabbatical time or ones may disperse and go to their homes and spend and meditate on what they have heard. But we have to recognize that the hearing of the word and the reading of the word, there's a blessing in the hearing of the word and there's a blessing in the reading of the word. Because some who are ignorant of the truth would make you believe or make you think that oh this is just talk just talking about but but no talk is talk and reading is reading in a sense of the reading of the word must become a personal responsibility on each of us individually as well as all of us collectively because even revelation Johannes Raio Raio le Johannes chapter 1 verse 3 it says zamenu karbualna yihna mathaf the age or the time, the time is near, for the time is near. One who reads this book, Yetin bituna kala yemiya semutina, and one who hears the word of the prophecy, bewistu, and in it, or in him, yetes afo win, that which is written, yemiya tebukut, those who protect it, those who keep it, those who preserve it, bituan nacho, they are the blessed ones and this word bitu'a and bitu'an is a very special word and deserves a teaching on it but the usual translation is it's distinguished from from those who are you know the 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 the, the um um, yetabareku, you know it's different than blessed in that sense and that's what we mean by the distinction that needs to be um understood but there is a blessing in the reading of the word there is a blessing in the hearing of the word and there is a blessing in the perseverance or the or the preserving the preserving of the word so don't let anyone deceive you that there is no blessing or it's just reading the word or what, like there's no blessing these are those who are deluded or deceived who would like to you know misery loves company to keep you away from you understand the blessing we know it for ourselves so we're not trying to force nobody to read it we're just doing our job doing our duty you understand as a minister of the king of kings and his christ to inform his people and those who claim to be his people of his teaching and of the truth so the next duty on those who have the responsibility and have the the epigenosis and, and the and the knowledge is to teach is the teaching of the reading is to teach well what does the reading say and how does it apply or those aspects that one who is uninitiated or uninformed or or who is not acquainted with the mysteries as Christ speaks of them would be able to have a firm anchor and build on a firmer foundation you understand and thereby errors that have crept in ignorantly or willingly can be uh, exercised from there so the next part is the Tim Harrod so what we like to focus on more on is the Tim Harrod portion 
to remind each Sabbath, well, this is the particular Sabbath reading and this is what is contained or these are the subject matters or, you know, certain words to the wise. But the main part that we would like to focus on as best as possible as we have begun with the Berashit or the Bereshit, the Bermejimeri or in the beginning portion, is to do a more expanded teaching. You understand on certain elements or interesting points on certain elements concerning the weekly Sabbath or the weekly sabbatical readings so that we would have we can build up we can have more of a groundation we can have more of a foundation in the spirit and the truth of the word so this is to once again just go over the fact that this is the second Sabbath of the year and it's called Yenoch, or of Noah, Noah, and it concerns Orit Zemuse, the Torah, Genesis chapter 6, verse 9, to Genesis chapter 11, verse 32, Isaiah 54, and 1 to 55 and 5, and Matthew 24.